Hello everybody, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty. I want to thank you for stopping by today. I have a Timu haul of items that I purchased this time and it's mostly uh, dyeing painting and crafting. There are a few bits and bobs in here but um, I wanted to do mostly crafting items this time and uh, let's cut into it. I'm so excited. This is going to be one of many hauls that I do for Timu. Uh, now, again, like I was saying, there is mostly diamond paintings and crafting items, but there are a few bits and bobs that are added that uh, are not crafting related, but I just thought some of them would be fun. There is a couple of things that I really needed to get that I wanted to have, but um, yeah, I I just wanted to share this, this haul with you. Now, in upcoming hauls, I'll also have crafting and bits and bobs included. Uh, so, you know, just wanted to give you a little forewarning. That being said, let's get started. They really know how to package it up, don't they? You know, I've seen other other YouTube creators that have done unbaggings and unboxings and such. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I get these things delivered here and it looks like it's been through hell and back. I mean, it looks, this is the, I mean, at least they used the start of the tape. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's that. That's, that's fun. Yeah, so I have my little garbage can right here. <laughs> it's a good thing I do. All right, so we're going to take our little scissors and get started. I don't want to... I want to be very careful so I don't cut anything except the bag itself. Okay. And I do have quite a few hauls coming between my husband and myself. I have quite a few hauls coming. So we're going to set this off to the side now. And we'll dig in. So I thought we would do, let's see here, some fun stuff first. Something that, uh, okay. Something that's not diamond painting related or crafting related. These are reusable bags that look like mason jars. And let's see how many you get in the kit. I don't know. It says 20 pieces. Now, Todd and I, we watch many different things on YouTube. And we've seen folks that go camping. We follow some channels that uh, where folks go camping. And uh, one of the couples that we see that go camping, they have this little wooden box that they bring out. And when they open it up, it's got like, you know, different things to cook with and store and stuff like that. Well, on the one side of this little wooden box, they have these this set of these reusable mason jar bags and we just thought they were the cutest things and we thought wow that would be neat for us to use when we go camping and so when i saw them on timu i thought you know what we're gonna give it a shot i mean you never know you know you can bring some rice you know be enough for a couple of servings and when you're camping you don't want to bring a whole you know big box or you know something like that that's going to get crushed you take one of these, you put your rice in it, and, you know, away you go. Or if you happen to, you know, have something like some spices that uh, you want to use, if you make a special rub or something like that, then, you know, you put them in the, this little bag, and it's compact, and you can pack it away nicely. So, there's one, two, three, four different sizes. So, there must be five in each. So one, 
two, three, four, five. Yes. So there's five of each, five of each, and there's four sizes. So we have the super small. And then we have something a little bit bigger. And then we have the next bigger size up. And then we have a longer version. That would be nice to put some pasta in. You know, if you're going to, Todd and I, we do cook when we go camping. We do some cooking. And, you know, to put a couple servings of pasta in one of these bags, I think would be fun. And it'll keep, you know, any critters out. It'll keep moisture out. So that would be fun. And then we have these bags. I mean, there's lots of different things. And not even for camping. You can use them for, you know, around the house, too. So these are really nice. These came in, the package of 20, came in at, I have them written right down here, reusable bags, $4.97 for the package of 20. So that's a really good deal. So we'll definitely put these to good use. Let me just put these back into the package. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so I just want to apologize about that right now. I'll try to make it quick. And here we go. How about we try to do the things that are not related to crafting first, get those out of the way, and then we can get on to the good stuff. There we go. So then next we have, let's see here. Yeah. Let's see. This should be, I don't see it. Okay. Well, next I'll do two things, two items. So I don't know if you all remember, I mentioned how I wanted to try my hand at fake nails. I've seen other YouTube creators use them and they really are cute. And I've seen some people get them from Timu and they're really nice. So I figured I'd dip a nail in, so to speak, dip a finger in, and I would try my hand, so to speak, at some artificial nails. And I got it is a French tip artificial nail. And I just think they're really cute. Now, to help me with my nail journey, I also got, this is called a quartz nail stone for cuticles. And what this does a little bonus piece of plastic there. Thank you. What this does... Oh, we have plastic all over the place. All right. There. And I didn't get rid of it. <laughs> so what this does is this helps to push your cuticles down. Because Lord knows I need some help in that department. And it's almost like a pumice stone, but a little softer than that, I I say. It's not so, um, it's not so porous. But what you do is you would take it and just push those little cuticles right back down. Show them who's boss. I mean, I'm not doing a really good job of it right now because I, I want to sit down and really, you know, go at it with them and that'll help you know when you're when your cuticles are pushed down it'll help to the nails to look a little more natural too and it's got a little little pusher you know where you can push them back in as well so i got that the quartz nail stone for cuticles was 48 cents and the nails i'm going to take those out of the box so we can look at them because I haven't, my gosh, I have not had nails done, my nails done in years. 
left. So, and I'm really, you know, just wanting to try it just for funsies. These nails came in at, let's see, $1.25. They're called Extra Short French Tip Nails. And they came in at $1.25. And let's see here. It doesn't say how many you get. So we're going to take a look. We're going to open the box up and see what comes in this package. Oh, isn't that neat? Okay. And I already feel something underneath. So let me go ahead and just drop all that. Okay. So we have, these are the little nail stickers. These, this is the adhesive. Let's see if I have anything. No, I don't. Dark that I could put. Well, let's see. Maybe we can use that. Okay. So I don't know. No, that doesn't do any good either. Well, these are little stickers that you will put. This is going to, what's going to adhere the nail to the nail bed. So you get a set of those and then you get a little teeny tiny nail file, teeny tiny nail file, and you get a cuticle pusher and then you get your nails. Aren't these cute? I like them. They're called pink and white. They don't look very pink to me. They look more of a flesh color or maybe even a peach. But let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of cute. They're a little longer than I would have expected. But that's what it would look like. I mean, I'll do, you know, of course I'll put it on there a little better, but that's what it would look like. Let's see if we can get one for my little pinky, my little pinky nail. Let's see what that little stinker will look like. And again, yeah, they, they're much longer than I thought, but there we go. I mean, that's not so bad. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, no, that's much longer than I thought. I have stubby little nails, so that's much longer than I thought. Let me just... Wow, that's really long. That'll take a little getting used to. But they're neat. So I'm going to give them a shot. Why not? It'll be fun. So these came in at $1.25. And, you know, if it doesn't work, I'm out of $1.25. Big deal. But I did get other colors as well. I got other colors and other sets of the French tips just to see, you know, what they're all about and I didn't pay more than a couple of dollars for each one some of them I paid less than a dollar for the package so and that'll come up in different hauls I didn't get them all in one haul so that's the nails I think that'll be fun why not all right so we'll move on and we'll back up going up Thank you. And set my little nail pusher aside. Let's see what else we have in here. Let's see. Something that's not crafting related. Aha. <laughs> Aha. This, my friends, is something, sorry about the crinkles, but this is something that I really did want and I needed to get. I need a good, big, large brimmed hat. And I found this one on Timu. It's called a Pink Breathable Hat. And I got it for $4.38. Pardon the crinkles. And it's one of those bucket hats. I love bucket hats. I don't look good in hats at all. I don't really care because I'd much rather look like a fool and protect myself from the sun than try to be a fashion queen and end up paying for it later on. Now this is a nice hat. 
This has got a very wide brim on it, as you can tell, really wide. It also has snaps on the side. Now it says sunshade, which is true, it is. But it's got snaps on the side too. So you could snap it up. I said you can snap it up. There we go. And wear it that way as well. Let me go ahead and snap that side because I'm so coordinated. There we go. I mean, when it's on your head, it'll it'll work a little better. It'll look a little better, but it also has a drawstring on it, a nice drawstring, a nice size. It's got a nice rim around it. It has beautiful netting on it as well so that's neat and it is breathable and also for you ladies who would be interested if you have long hair it even in the back has a place for your ponytail and it's adjustable as well so that's really neat and it does come apart there is a clasp right there that comes apart so that's super neat and you can tighten it up and this elastic goes into it's tucked in so that's really neat and then you can just adjust it to your whatever you need so that's a nice hat I'm gonna look forward to wearing that outside so for four dollars and 38 cents friends I'm going to protect my tender little noggin. All right, let's move on. And I know I have some other bits and bobs in here that are not crafting related. So I am trying to find those first. Let's see, I did that. Let me just take a moment to mark off my... And I did that. I did those. I did the bags. Okay. So there's only, I think, one more item in here that's not crafting related, but I just have to find my way to it. Let's see. Bear with me for one moment. There it is, all the way at the bottom tiny little little thing oh this is pretty oh wow okay so this is an opal ring opal is my birthstone I was born in October and this is a beautiful opal ring isn't that pretty let me go ahead and bring you on down going down there we go. Isn't she lovely? She's really pretty. Look at the colors in that. Now, I don't know if this is a real opal, but friends, this is really pretty. I mean, if, if, you, if this was a real opal, that would be checking off all the boxes. Because with a real opal, you really want to see all the colors of the rainbow. I doubt highly... Pardon me for one moment. I just want to go off camera and take a quick peek. Wow. I mean, it probably isn't, but it really is pretty. And I'm going to slip, take my Pride Month ring off and slide this on. That is really super cute. Let me back you up. There you go. Isn't that really cute? And it's a gold tone. And it's got little crystals on each side. Isn't that cute? That ring came in at a whopping $1.17. I like it. It's very dainty. So, to add to my collection. So, we'll put that back. And then we're going to get to the good stuff. There we go. Now... Let me put my ring back on. There we go. And so we're going to start out with a couple of 
off the canvas items. And we're going to back you up. Actually, no, not for these two things. I'm going to keep you right where you're at. This first one, I've seen a couple different creators with this particular kit. And I didn't have, I didn't even know it until after I ordered them and then I started seeing their videos and I started seeing it and I got a kick out of it. But um, this is, these are stickers. I've never done stickers before. So these are stickers. And these are Snow White and the Seven Dwarf stickers. Isn't that adorable? So you get seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stickers. And they're each pretty much full drill, except for their little faces. But everything else is full drill. Aren't they adorable? So you get the you get the seven dwarves. I think that is sleepy, sneezy, dopey, grumpy, aka Debbie, happy, bashful, and Doc? No, that's Doc. That's bashful. That's happy. I remember that now. And of course, little Miss Snow White herself with her Prince Charming. And they're dancing. And there she is. Mm -hmm. And there's that apple tree where she takes a bite of that apple and goes to sleep. So these are pretty much, like I said, full drills except for their little faces. And we'll set that aside because the glare is just unbelievable. And of course you get your standard toolkit, a plate of wax, the boat, and the pink pen. All you need to work on this diamond painting. Or these stickers, I should say. And then you get your set of drills. I'm not sure how many colors come in here, so we'll find out together. And let us see. Okay. So we have, wow, 14 colors. Okay. So we'll go ahead and flip these over so you can see. There we go. Some really pretty colors. It's really going to look cute. So vibrant. Oh, I love that purple and the yellow together. If you're a football fan, you know that's the Minnesota Vikings colors right there. And let's see here. So we'll go ahead. Of course, I need to muck around with them. There we go. And then the last set of colors. There we go. All right. So that's the colors. We'll put those back in the bag. They do have a little, shall I say, canvas code, but they're not really on a canvas. But they do have the code of the stickers themselves. The code is BT181-1. And the diamonds do have the code BT181. Okay, so if you wanted to store them separate, you could. I'm not going to because it's such a small package. I'm just going to put them all together right where they came from, including the kit to do it with. And we'll put that right back in here. There we go. All right. Moving on to the next special off the canvas item. Again, these are stickers as well. These. I saw these and said, oh my goodness gracious, I have to have them. So here are your drills and of course your standard toolkit and friends. Anybody who knows me knows how much I love my nutcrackers. 
and here we are friends a set of nutcrackers now this says this is a 28 piece set they're counting the little bits and bobs that come with it the little candy canes and the trumpets and the little you know baubles and the the holly and the presents and stuff they're counting all those as well as counting each of the nutcrackers themselves but aren't they gorgeous they're not they're not rhinestones friends they're your regular drills and we'll look at the colors in just a second but boy oh boy they are so cute what I'd like to do is actually adhere these to a good piece of like a nice thick piece of cardstock maybe or maybe a thin piece of um, balsam balsa wood I think that's what it's called and attach uh, like a have a little place to put a loop and maybe a little string and hang them as little ornaments or even put them on a nice piece of cardstock and you can flip them over you know on the cardstock and write you know Merry Christmas or you know for tags or something but I would like to hang them on on the tree as a matter of fact so I'm gonna put these together as a matter of fact I actually in one of the other orders that I have coming in I forgot that I ordered these and I ordered them again so to my twin sister Judy you're getting a set of Nutcracker stickers to do. And let's take a look at these diamonds. There we go. Pardon the noise. And we have, I believe, 11 colors. And we'll take a look. Beautiful, vibrant colors. Exactly what you would expect for Christmas. They are going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Can't wait. I already see that these are full of static. So I will be making sure that I... do my due diligence in putting in my little pieces of fabric softener. I still think that's a tried and true method. I don't bother any way else. So that's that. These came in, let's see, the Nutcracker stickers came in at $1.59 and the Snow Weight stickers also $1.59. I mean, you can't beat it. So that'll be a lot of fun and like I said I've never done the stickers before so this will be a treat and of course it's always a struggle with Debbie there we go we overcome we overcome there we go have a little faith so that's the two off the canvas items that I got. Now, this is, mm, this is something that is to me craft related. However, it's not per se a diamond painting or anything, but it does, it is going to help with my diamond paintings. And I saw Oh, Natalia from Lovecraft Forever, she uses these items. Well, one in particular, and you'll see it in a second. And I said, oh my gosh, that is a game changer. I need to have them in my life. And here we are. So it's a set of four putty knives. And they come in various sizes. This set of four putty knives came to $5.98. And if you follow Natalia on Lovecraft Forever, she uses 
this big, the biggest size that they have. Let me show you. They have four different sizes. Okay. This is a two inch. This is a four inch. This is a six inch. And this giant is an eight inch. And what she does, and I'm going to put these four bad boys away. What she does with them is it helps her to flatten out canvases when she's showing diamond paintings. So I said, you know what, Natalia, thank you very much for that tip. And as soon as I saw them, I said, you're coming home to me. So here we are. So I'm going to set this aside and you will be seeing much more of these items uh, because I will be using them to flatten out canvases. Here we go, friends. So let's start out by telling you this. In these next hauls that are coming up, including this haul, this is where it all began. You're going to start seeing a theme, a couple themes. One theme you already know as soon as you see the the painting, you'll know, you'll say, typical Debbie. But this other theme that you'll see forming is, uh, well, I'll let, I'll let it speak for itself. But you are going to see many, many <laughs> more paintings along this same genre, I want to say almost like a collection. I'll, I'll, I'll put it that way, almost like a collection. And um, I'm going to be honest with you. I know a few videos ago I said I will not buy a diamond painting without seeing a rendering first or if somebody took a picture of it after they did it. There are several of these that I have gotten sight unseen. Now, with the exception the reason why I started getting them is because there was one or two that I did see renderings of. And that's what tipped me over the edge. Now, I've not seen renderings or pictures of all of them that you'll see. But I saw enough to convince me that these are going to be beautiful. I've gone on long enough. Let's get started. So, let's do this one... First, let's do, let's do this one first, because this one, you know, it's going, you're going to, yeah, Debbie, it's like every time you do a haul with a diamond painting, you've got to include this. Yes, yes, I do. Because this happens to be something that's near and dear to my heart. Sale, and this is actually a mixture of both of these genres. So let's go ahead and, all right, your standard toolkit, thank you very much, your drills, which are absolutely gorgeous and juicy, and mm, mm, mm. as you can tell, a couple of different colors of red, you may know where we're going with this then, but let's go ahead and show you anyway. Friends, isn't that absolutely delicious? Two of my favorite things in the whole wide world. Stained glass. Yes, I do love stained glass. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, my cardinals. So this is where this little man's going to come in handy. We're going to peel this back and let her relax. It's a 30 by 40. It has 22 colors. And this is where this is going to come in real handy. There we go. Look at this. Look at how easy that is. Oh, friends. If you have a chance to get yourself one of these sets of the putty knives, I'm telling you, run, don't walk. Look at that. Flattened it out like a pancake. We're going to flip her on over. Friends, isn't this delicious? This is 
honestly one of the most beautiful diamond paintings I've ever seen. I can't hardly wait to start this. And I'll tell you right now, the stick is good. The stick is very nice. It's got the beautiful bits of glitter in it. Look at how nice that putty knife just flattens that right out. There we go. You can make sure all the air bubbles are out of her. Turn her on her side. There we go. And then there we go. And all right. So we have. 30 by 40, 22 colors. Stick is excellent. Isn't that beautiful? Honestly, I mean, it checks all of the boxes. I am in love with this picture. Let's just take a quick look. I'm not going to take these out. I'm not going to take these out. But just look, friends, at this beautiful palette of colors. The reds, the grays, the greens. There's some berry colors in here. I mean, just beautiful. Oh, this this was the very first one that I saw, and I absolutely had to have it. So I, I'm so excited that I got this. And I'm not even going to bother folding it back up and putting it. I'm putting it right into my, right into my portfolio to flatten out because I know it's going to get done sooner rather than later. It does have a canvas coat on it. And the canvas coat is also on the drills, so I will be very confident to store these separately. And that is my very first stained glass cardinal picture. And moving forward, this one is a little smaller size, but I thought it was really adorable. And it goes along that almost that same theme with the stained glass and so we'll go ahead it's a 30 by 30 and it has 17 colors in it this one's a little harder a little more toothy should I say this canvas is a little, a little hard a little rough they've got some really beautiful colors in it and again Standard toolkit. Thank you very much. Look at these colors, friends. How beautiful and vibrant. That purple. Sweet tea. I'm talking to you, hun. Sis, that's your color right there. And then we have the beautiful butter yellow and that carrot orange and blues. There's a beautiful vibrant blue in there. Yeah. Let's take a look at this man. Isn't that pretty? Let me go ahead and bring her over a little bit more. Oh, sorry for the glare, my friends. Let's see. Yeah, that's much better. I have an overhead light on plus that light on as well. So we're just really batting a thousand today. Isn't that beautiful? That gives me a um, stained glass feel as well of a beautiful sunrise and the flowers and the hills and the trees it's just I love it let's go ahead and flatten this out as well now this particular painting the cardinals the which size was that 30 by 40 the 30 by 40 cardinals came in at three dollars and 81 cents this 30 by 30 sunset comes in at $2.48. So let's go ahead and peel back the plastic. This is, uh, the stick is super. This one is 
a little on the challenge side as far as flattening it out. But that's okay, we're gonna go through it with my trusty little putty knife now. And again, this one, these are just going straight into my portfolio to do. I am not mucking around. I'm not putting them back in their bags. No, ma'am. No, sir. They will be in the to-do pile, which is getting ever so bigger. But that's all right. They'll get done. They'll get done. After I'm done with the last... My last team haul, which is whenever that is, I don't know. I've ordered, I've placed so many orders with them, it's not even funny. Um, I may go on a, a no buying. I may have to uh, put mittens on my hands when I go on the computer, on my phone. All right. So that is, it's got that stained glass look to it. And it really is so pretty. It reminds me of a country scene, like the mountains in the background with the sunrise and the country flowers. I absolutely love it. And again, that came in at $2.48, 30 by 30. The colors, let's take a quick look at those again. That purple. Sweet tea. I'm thinking of you, sis. There we go. So that is that diamond painting. And it does have the canvas number on top. And I did see that it had the canvas number on the, um, on the drills as well. And just before I go ahead and put this to bed, one last little, there we go. It's really very pretty. I'm very excited about these. All right, friends. So we'll go on to this one, which is a 40 by 40. Yep, yeah, this is a 40 by 40. And it's a little bit more of along the theme that you would typically think that I would get. And again, in that stained glass look. So let us see here. All right. Our standard tool kit. Lovely. Much appreciated. These are the colors. Some beautiful bright colors as well as mixed, a nice mixture of muted colors with bright colors. We'll take a look at those in a minute. And here we go. That stained glass look. Isn't that gorgeous? 40 by 40. This came in at $4.24. And I love roses. So, I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's going to be such a nice picture. Let's go ahead and straighten her out. The stick is good. And again, this is going to go right into my to-do pile. So it will be nice and flat by the time I'm ready to, to get to it. There we go. And again, with this putty knife, you can tell, you can see how nice it's really assisting with getting this to lay down flatter. And we'll peel this back. Here we go. This is a game changer, this putty knife. My little scraper. There we go. It really is. Awesome. All right. 
It is a 40 by 40. It has 24 colors in it. Man, is that beautiful. I love it. So, like I said, I've always loved roses and the stained glass. Hello. Let's go through the colors. Let's take a quick peek. Look at that beautiful green. It's going to look so pretty on those flowers, on the uh, stems, the leaves. And then these are pretty much the background around the frame of it. Get some more and some pink for the highlight. And that's a beautiful blue. That's number 18. That is 3750. That's a beautiful denim blue. So really great palette of colors. And this does also have the canvas coat on it along with the canvas coat itself. So this will go in my to-do pile. Very excited about that. Now this next one, this is the final diamond painting that I got. And then I have one last thing after that. This next one, I just got the biggest kick out of this when I saw it. And I thought of my husband. <laughs> I know he'll get a kick out of it too, and I'll probably end up doing it and putting it in his office. So this is 30 by 40 it says. And here's the color palette. I'm not so sure if it's a 30 by 40, but we're gonna find out soon enough. And there's your standard toolkit. Perfect. Here we go, friends. It is a 30 by 40, it says. I don't think it is. Let's see if I have my tape measure in here anywhere. If I can find it quickly. If I cannot, and I cannot. I doubt highly it is a 30 by 40. Uh, if you notice, this also, no, this says 40 by 40. Sorry. Hold on. This says it's a 30 by 40 and as you can tell by the edges this one's smaller this one is probably going to be the closest to a 30 by 40 an actual 30 by 40 this one is going to be a little a little less than but that's okay but aren't they adorable <laughs> love them they just look like they're ready to get into mischief I don't know how it's going to turn out, how it's going to render, but I'm into it. It's okay. I, I'm i fairly certain I saw a picture of it done, and it came out cute. So, stick. Awesome. Let's go ahead and give this a little relaxation. There we go. And we'll flip them on over. They just look like these are two little two little critters that are into whatever kind of trouble they can get into. We'll call them Yogi and whoever Yogi's <laughs> partner was. I don't remember his name. <laughs> oh. Boo boo? I'm not sure. The canvas is a little less stiff than that other canvas that I looked at with the sunset. It's got the canvas number on it. And it also has the canvas number on the drills themselves. Let's take another look. They are so cute. Oh my gosh. That's going to be so cute. That's going to be fun. And then here's the palette. 
It's 22 colors. So I'm really looking forward to, they have some really pretty, a really pretty mixture of uh, bright colors with some muted colors. So I'm looking forward to seeing how, how this comes out. Legends on the top and the bottom. On all of them, as a matter of fact. So I'm really happy with these diamond paintings. I am so excited about getting, in, getting into them. So we have come to the end of our diamond paintings, and I have one last item before I let you go. And this is a cross stitch. This is a printed or stamped cross stitch. And this, my friends, is of a little... I call her a geisha girl, but the way it's listed in Timu is a Blossom Lady Cross Stitch. Oh, by the way, the bears came in. I don't know if I know if I let you know, but the bears came in at three dollars and ninety-eight cents. And I'll have the prices linked. Now, this is all. These are all prices that I paid when I purchased these. Now, Timu lately has been. Uh, we all know that Timo's prices change. We know that. But for some reason lately, it seems to me that Timo's prices, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but a couple of creators have, and I have too, that uh, the prices have gone up slightly from when we first started purchasing uh, from them. My husband jokingly said, yeah, because they have, they've been giving away all that free shipping. But this is what she looks like. Isn't she beautiful? I was actually going to get, now I did get in one of my future hauls that you'll see, I did get one of these young ladies in a diamond painting. I had more in my cart. I was going to get a whole series of them. But then I did a little further research and I noticed that the renderings did not look good at all. So I picked the one that I thought looked the best out of the whole bunch and I put her in my cart and I took everybody else out. Um, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to do this. I wanted to do this cross stitch. So that's what I did. I picked out a cross stitch and this was the only one that I saw in a cross stitch. And I was dying to get a cross stitch, but I just wasn't really getting bowled away with any of the cross stitching that they had until I came across her and I was like, well, this is something that I've been wanting to do. You know, the, the, uh, I call them geisha girls, but, um, but if it's in a cross stitch, yeah, I'm in. So that's why I got this. So that is the chart. This is a little instruction page for cross stitching, gives you some different stitch tutorials and on how to, you know, use the thread and then washing it and ironing it. So you have that. And then here is, now you always have to be careful. Oh, you always have to be careful. And as I say, and I'm getting stabbed. So not all kits come with their needles haphazardly thrown into the threads okay this I have never seen I've bought and I'm not you know I have not bought hundreds of kits or anything like that but in the few kits that I do have that I've never seen this and I've never seen anybody unboxing anything like this I'm really kind of disappointed in this kit because of this very reason I have a dog God forbid I didn't realize this and I may have hit this and one of these needles inadvertently fell out and my little dog got a hold of it. God forbid. I am uber, uber protective of him and anything that I do, I make sure that it, it's going to be safe around him too. I, would, I couldn't live with myself if anything happened because they were just haphazardly stuck in there like that. I mean, it was just, this is disappointing, I have to say. So I will be taking extra care with these needles. I'm going to set these aside and I know where they are, but I will be taking extra care. Let's take a look at the threads themselves. And these are very, I have to say, they're very pretty. What a pretty palette. There are 16 colors 
and the threads are quite almost silky feeling really very pretty very soft and I love the colors themselves very muted colors aren't they pretty and look at how shiny they are they really do shimmer it just gives you that almost a silky feeling you know so really pretty colors I'll set the colors aside and we'll flip over not much to see I mean there she is <laughs> really you know can't tell but um, yeah it's an 11 count so you're going to use three st strands to stitch and it's 103 stitches wide by 147 stitches high so I think she's going to turn out really cute it's not too bad as far as confetti uh, the most confetti I see is down here in the dress and it's really not that bad but a lot of it like from from her her neck up it's as you can tell a whole lot of color blocking and um, you know there are spots with a couple of different colors but literally there's two different colors throughout there so I mean not bad at all a little bit of confetti right there but really the most confetti you'll see is right around here and that's not even that bad so I I'm not mad at it the only thing I'm mad at is these two bloody needles that they just pfft, stuck in there any old way do better my friends whoever made this particular kit do better because people you know I don't just do better package it in a little a little baggie or attach it somehow to the to the damn you know canvas itself but don't just throw it in there haphazardly in the yarn so pay you know you got to pay attention friends if you get one of these kits from Timu just pay attention and be aware that that's how the needles came from from my kit I'm just gonna feed this through here and then I'll put it I have a, a container I'll put them in of course I can't get it to go through now but I have a um, a container that I can put these needles in but that's not the point the point is they're sharp they're sharp as heck and that really agitated me all right so I have them right here safe and secure I know where they are now and I'll handle them in a little while all right so that friends is going to be my haul for today my Timu haul one of many I have to warn you it's one of many I I've gone a bit crazy cuckoo with the Timu lately but I will be phasing that portion of my <laughs> spending out because I think I'm getting just about everything I have wanted to get from Timu for now but it's been a real blast um, you know I get to get to look at all the different neat nifty little gadgets and things and they have just about everything I mean honestly if you can't find it on Timu I don't think you need it because they have just about every darn thing there is known to man check your if you do shop on Timu make sure you check your text messages check your emails check for those coupons and those little specials that they run because you can really save some money and let's just throw some of these things back up on here for you we have our little geisha we have all of our diamond paintings and you're gonna see a lot more of the stained glass theme type diamond paintings and of course we have our new best buddy <laughs> our putty knives they came in a set of four I'm sure my husband might find something to use these for but I I call dibs on this one because this is going to help with my diamond paintings 
And then we also have our reusable containers for camping or around the house. I got myself a little rose, not rose quartz, but a quartz cuticle stone. Had to have a hat. Got to have a hat for summertime. We got our two types of stickers, Snow White and our Nutcrackers. And we also got some fashionable press-on nails just to have some fun. And this pretty little opal ring or opal-esque ring. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a real opal. I doubt it, but it sure does look nice. And that was my haul from Timu today. I want to thank you all for joining me and I hope I didn't bore you half to death. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know if you just want to see the crafting. I'll understand and I'll weed through the other things. I don't think in, in the upcoming hauls that I have, I have very many of um, bits and bobs. It's mostly going to be crafting. But I can't promise that there's not going to be some bits and bobs in there. If you don't want to see the bits and bobs, I understand. Let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll call them out and just take, you know, take out the crafting. I like to, to look at everybody, you know, what everybody else is buying because I might get inspired. You never know. But until I see you again, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for your continued support. If you are a current subscriber, I appreciate you. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider it. Leave me a thumbs up. That always helps my little channel to grow. I'm four folks away from 300. My friends, I appreciate you all so much. And I'm trying so hard to put out a little more content. I'm so sorry I, I don't get to film as much content as I really would like to. Um, but I am trying very hard. Please know that. And please know that I appreciate all of your comments and kind thoughts and, and you know, your support. I appreciate it. Until I see you all again, please watch out for yourselves. Be kind to one another and be the voice for those animals out there because they don't have one. And I just, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Goodbye now.